have a nice nice rainbow. Anywhere to bet from one to a ten thousand dollars. This is a title match, so bets are double. This is where you earn your money. Is the title matches. Making her way down to the ring. She is a former JGI Women's Broadcast Champion. She is Alex Watson. Now, just for the record, Ruby, my characters, Ruby and Josh, are only put in these matches if we have an odd number of people. So we have like seven, and we need, uh, there's not a seven person match. So then I have to, I, that's when I put them in there. that, they do not compete for these titles at all. Pit music, but no caps, sad, or no cups, sad times. She drops money. She flexes on all y'all with the cups. <laughs> And yes, this stream will not be what it is about your awesome help. If you'd like to donate to the stream, you can do so in several ways. Click those links, cash at me, or go to my PayPal. Your donations are not mandatory, but they're very much appreciated. Hundred donations goes right back into the stream to bring a better view and experience for you. And I mean, I have been putting money into this stream. I have put in a lot of money into this stream. Wait till you see the whole setup once it's fully completed. 10K Ruby? Yeah, 10K Ruby. I got enough jokers to do that. See, I got enough jokers to do that. <laughs> Making her way down to the ring. She is a former Project 10 Women's Champion. She is a Snakes. Captain Cup combo? Yeah. I mean... I don't know what would be deemed a, well, yeah, top hat would be deemed a pimp hat, if you really think about it. Making her way down to the ring. She is Tia Lioness. Arr. Snake's about to blow up again. Watch. Mint's thinking Snake's going to blow up again. Now remember, these are held outside the universe, so it does not affect your momentum inside the universe. So, it does affect your win-loss record, but it does not affect your momentum. Steps to make a snake explode. One, lead him to the tundra. Or tundra. Two, wait for sleep. Three, warn him up with a firebomb. Ah, dang. Gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> Making her way down to the ring. She is one half of Frozen Inferno. She is ice.
I wish we could bask in the glory. You know when uh, the next WWE game comes out, you know, that's like this, not like, what is it, Battlegrounds or whatever it's called? You know that theme song is going to be across everyone. Everyone's going to have that theme song. Making her way down to the ring. She is Riley Allen. All right, man. I'll get it off stream. I'll make a note of it so I don't forget also. All right, notes made. And you're like, in the next game, I'm still going to be pimping. Speaking of pimping, the pimping ain't easy match. We're going to finally determine who is the pimp of all pimps at BBF Takeover Part 2. Lovely crowd tonight. Lively crowd tonight. Making her way down to the ring. She is Miss Money in the Case. She is Eva uh, Lightning. That is true. Alex is not a pimp. <laughs> Everyone is a pimp to prove it not a pimp. Eva is not a crowd person, that is for sure. Someone needs to let Eva know Halloween's over with. This whole Halloween theme music needs to go bye bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Freak is more of a pimp than Alex. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. T will fire 10 wrestlers, but who? Who are you firing? Making her way down to the ring. She is the women's hardcore champion. She is Ruby Kane. Also, some more breaking news. Josh Kane has decided to leave SCW. So he can focus here on JJI. He is still part of other brands, but he decided to leave SCW because his schedule conflicts with SCW's schedule. He is still supporting SCW, but he's not a part of SCW anymore. I think Josh is just going to make special appearances on SCW. 
He had a meeting with the general manager a couple of days ago, informed him that his schedule just conflicts with SCW's schedule. So he asked to be relieved and just make like special appearances. So... Making her way down to the ring. She has over a record of six wins and five losses. She is the JGI Women's Broadcast Champion. She is Pamela Page. Pamela Page has not made many friends at all here on JJI since she's made her appearance. Breaking news, Josh Greer is going down today at 5. Uh, no. He just, his schedule conflicts with SCW, so he has to, he had to, you know, release ties with them. And this is eight-woman battle royale, so the only, one wins, the only way to win is be the final woman standing after all other opponents have been turned over the top rope and both feet touching the floor. Ruby trying to eliminate the champion. Who's been eliminated? Who was eliminated? Snake was the first eliminated by Alex. Ruby tosses Pamela into the corner. Elbows to the lower back. And now Pamela and Ivy going after Ruby. Pamela trying to eliminate Ruby right now. Ivy's going, or not Ivy, Ivy. <laughs> Tia's going to assist. And Ruby's been eliminated. That's right, Ruby don't need to win that title. We are down to our final six. We got Ice, we got Riley, we got the Money in the Case Women's Money in the Case winner, Eva. We got a former JJ Women's Champion, Alex. We got Tia, and we got the current champion, Pamela, still left in this match. And it looks like Riley's trying to eliminate Ice, but Ice fights elimination with that elbow to the top of the head. And now Eva goes after Pamela. And after Tia, Eva don't care who she goes after. Oh, what a reverse neckbreaker by Pamela to Eva. Eva, I'm going to be upset if I el elim ice. <laughs> Tia trying to eliminate Alex. Alex hanging on for dear life. And Riley trying to eliminate ice. And Eva trying to eliminate Pamela. Alex avoids elimination. Yeah, Alex and Tia towering are everyone. That is true. And Pamela avoids elimination. Ice trying to eliminate the Alex, a former champion. And Alex fights back. <laughs> Breaking news. Tia's injured for a UFC. Yeah, I saw Team Monster got signed to UFC. Believe it or not, Josh Kane had had a small stint in UFC. A small one, not much. I don't know if he still does UFC. He hasn't talked about it much. Love that they mix it up, right? And Riley went, trying to break the arm of Alex. Eva blocks Tia, hits her for right. Now, Eva's going to try to eliminate Tia. And I think Pamela and Riley's going after one another. Tia avoids elimination. Did he do better than CM Punk? Uh, yeah, he did, actually. <laughs> oh, and Eva almost got eliminated. But she manages to hang on and climb back in between the ropes. Riley's over the top rope, hanging on to the bottom one. And Riley fights back. She gets an attack. Oh, 
Pamela tosses Riley into the corner. Oh, and Alex eliminated Ice with a Huracarana. So Ice has been eliminated by Alex. Riley and Alex going at it. Tia and Eva going at it. Pamela is pretty much by herself. Now she's going after Tia. Pamela brings Tia up to Virgo base. Alex tosses Riley over top rope. Riley's hanging on. And Alex misses with the right, and Riley avoids elimination. Oh, what a chin buster by Riley to Alex. Damn fire, dirty mouth, right? What a chop by Riley to Alex. Kick to the midsection. DDT connects. Eva picks up Riley, puts her on her shoulder, and is trying to eliminate her. Pamela going for the pedigree on Alex. No, it's not a pedigree. It's a butterfly face buster, and she connects. She is very passionate, that's for sure. I know the snake is really bad in title matches where there are more than the usual amount of competitors. That is true. And who who got eliminated? Eva got eliminated by Riley. Riley brings T up. We are down to our final four. Pamela trying to eliminate Alex. Big old knee to the spine. What is up, B Bear? How are you doing? Tia sets up Riley, trying to eliminate her. And Tia gives up. I don't know why. Big ol' right by Tia to Alex. And Alex, ooh, nice suplex. That is true, B-Bear. You made a lot of enemies by saying that about Pamela. All right, let, have a good night. Thank you for tuning in when you did. Alex tried eliminating uh, Tia. Thank you for the bit, Tito. How are you doing, my man or female? I don't know which one you are, but how are you doing? Alex with a stomp to the knee of Pamela. Riley and Tia going at it. Riley for right. Well, T-Monster, uh, there's an exception to that. You're pretty much... Married to Pamela. <laughs> and Tia sets up Riley. Puts her up, trying to eliminate her. Yeah, you're pretty much married to Pamela. And Riley avoids elimination. My wife, it's Isabella. Who made Pamela? <laughs> and Riley was stomped to the chest of Alex. Alex avoids elimination by coming back into the under the bottom rope. Alex grabs Riley. Walks Riley around the ring, and Riley finally fights back with the elbows. So, yes, figuratively speaking, you're married to Pamela. <laughs> And Pamela slams Tia down, showing her strength. Riley trying to eliminate Alex. I don't think she'll be able to do it. Oh, and Pam... Oh, I thought Pamela eliminated Tia. Pamela sets up Alex. Trying to eliminate her. That would be huge. Because she knows Alex is her biggest threat. Alex hangs on to the bottom rope. Pamela still trying to eliminate her, and Alex fights back. Tia grabs Riley, leans her up against the ropes. Ooh, super kick. Riley's been eliminated. We are down to our final three. Let's take a replay of that elimination right there. Big old kick to the chin, and Riley's been eliminated. Ooh, nice move by Alex to Pamela. And now Alex turns attention to Tia, misses, and Tia hits her with a clothesline back of the head. Pamela is a lucky wrestler. She can't hold on to the top. That is true, Mint. She can't. Oh, another clothesline. T 
Tia brings Alex up to a vertical base. Big old right. Uh, uh, look at the elbows to Alex by Tia. And Alex quickly fights out of the corner, knowing that Tia was going to try to toss her over afterwards. Slap misses as Tia sidestepped. Big old jump in front kick, and Alex is down. Tia's in full control. It gives her time to catch a breather. Tia lining up Alex right now. Ooh, nice clothesline. Pamela waits for Tia to get up, hits her with an elbow. Fire will lose the title to Pamela soon. I don't know. Tia with the rights to Pamela. Oh, and Pamela's been eliminated by Tia. Pamela is no longer your JJI Broadcast Women's Champion. It is down to the two biggest competitors in this match. We got Alex and Tia. Can Tia do it? Right now, Alex is in charge, though. Oh, nice move by Alex. Showing her athleticism there. Alex brings T up to a vertical base. Big old right. Tia's down to her knees. Oh, and a knockout punch. And Tia, I think, passed out there. Things are not looking very good right now. Alex grabs Tia. Slams her face first into the top turbo. Can, oh, and Tia fights out of it. Tia grabs Alex. Can Tia do it? Clothesline. And Tia is your new JJI Broadcast Women's Champion. Let's get that match spin bonus. Fifty jokers to Poppy. Good game, and Tia wins her first title here on JJI. She will have it until tomorrow when she defends it. All right, it is now time for the men's JJI broadcast title. So if you're in chat and I have your character and you would like to compete for the men's broadcast championship, raise your hand now or forever hold your peace. All right, we got Alex, we got Havoc, we got a Kane, we got Freak, we got Tom, and of course the champion Papa Legba. Anyone else? AJ throwing his name in the hat. Anyone else? We got seven again. Anyone else? Let's see who's in chat. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't think there's anyone else. So we're gonna have to throw Josh Kane in there because it's seven. So we have to throw Josh Kane in there to make it eight. All right, so once again, same, same matches. 
So there you go. Get your bets in. Estimation vote, or sorry, your votes in. Estimation vote space. Zero for ladder, one for normal, or two for battle royale. And I will get these bets going. Now remember, Tom's in here, and Tom's a big dude, so remember that when you're deciding which uh, match to have. One minute. Less than 30 seconds. Battle Royale, one again, let me get this set up. <laughs> Bobby, I, I don't know, I, I, have, I, I don't even know why I picked that, I think just because it's funny. <laughs> let me get this set up, Battle Royale is your winner, so let me get them all set up. Which attire, Eager, one or two? All right, Uno it is. I can't go with a tire one, that's a change. Wolf, what a tire, one or two. Two, all right.
What is Papa going with? Two, all right. My supervisor phone is going off, so I'm gonna mute my mic so I can take the call. But I'll wait till after introductions. Which means I may not be able to uh, call the match. But hope you all enjoy it because my supervisor phone is going off, which means someone at work is trying to get a hold of me. Tom has won every battle royal he's been in. That is true. Oh, okay, brought it. Making his way down to the ring, he is Alex, a star. Alex Star, also a member of the Blood Brothers Federation. And bets are live. Place some estimation bets base. Zero for Havoc. Or, uh, sorry, zero for Alex. One for Havoc. Two for Freak. Three for Tom. Four for Kane. Five for AJ. Six for Josh Kane. Or seven for the champion, Papa. Uh, Legba. Five better space rest. One to uh, 10,000 Jokers. This is a title match, so bets are doubled. Now we listen to his voicemail. Someone from work is trying to get a hold of me, so uh, yeah, I gotta get him, call him back. Making his way down to the ring. He is a former main event men's champion. He is Havoc Adams. He looks like the myth, just bigger and more Chad. No, he actually looks like Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. Yes, Havoc lost to Alex Star. Kevin's got too old for Alex. I don't think so. Making his way down to the ring. He is the current Project 10 men's champion. He is a master, a freak.
Master Freak beat Ruin to get that title at Money in the Case. In the pre-show. So Master might be known as the Giant Slayer, the new Giant Slayer. We've had at least one every season. All right, Tigre Fire, have a good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll get to live tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. Oh, fire's going, not you. Okay. I got a little confused there. You know, old man brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh man. <laughs> Making his way down to the ring. He is a former JJ Broadcast Men's Champion. He is Tom. <laughs> he talk about Halloween music. <laughs> I got to call that person back for at work, so I won't be able to do the rest of the introductions. I know he's got to be working at 6 a.m., so I need to call him back now. So I won't be able to do the rest of the introductions, but I will be, you'll be able to see what I do on my off days, pretty much. Well, while I'm waiting for him to call me back, because for some reason my call was not going through, making his way down to the ring, he is a former JJ Broadcast Men's Champion. He is a king. Look at that logo. Nice.
too dark. I'm afraid of the dark. No, that's how the entrance is supposed to be. He was like, my eyes, my eyes. Making his way down to the ring. He is AJ Young. I got horn blocked. I did. I did get horn blocked. AJ is back, but he lost his first match back, so... Making his way down to the ring. He is a former SCW4 star champion. He is a former FWE Worldwide Hardcore champion. He is a former JGI Tag Team champion. He is the Falcon Josh Kane. That's like, swear, I swear, if I get eliminated first. <laughs> Making his way down to the ring. He has an overall record of two wins and seven uh, losses. He is the current JGI Broadcast Men's Champion. He is a member of the Blood Brothers Federation. He is what everyone wants to know what is in his bag, which he does not have with him. He is Papa Legba. I'm going to try to call um, that person back because it's someone at work and, you know, Job as a supervisor, you got to call your workers back, so. Some reason the call ain't going through, so I don't know what's going on. All right, this is an eight-man battle royale for the JJ Broadcast Men's Championship, and Josh is trying to eliminate uh, Papa, but Papa avoids elimination. If you think about it, there are three members of BBF in here. You got Alex, you got Papa, and you got Josh.
And Tom was eliminated? Tom was eliminated first, followed by Papa. So we're going to have a new JJ Broadcast Men's Champion. Josh grabs Alex, slams a face first into the top turnbuckle. Josh is trying to eliminate Alex. AJ's trying to eliminate Freak. And that Kane's taking it to Havoc. See what happened there, Mint? You told him if he went, or if Master wins. Oh, how? You got eliminated first. You got eliminated first. That is your first battle royale that you have lost. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. AJ sets up Alex. They got history. Alex is hanging on as AJ still trying to eliminate him. And a Alex fights back. Havoc grabs Freak. And AJ whips Alex into the corner. Knife edge chop. Another knife edge chop. Another one. Keep going with the knife edge chop. AJ is to Alex. And Josh picks up a cane. Brain Buster connects. And Josh picks up Havoc. Slams him. Uh, backbreaker across the knee. There is some history between Josh and Havoc. Though it is all friendly competition. Josh grabs Havoc. Picks him up. Drops him on his head. Josh turns his attention to AJ. And a cane grabs Josh from behind. All right, he's calling me back, so I got to stop announcing. champ would have put this match away by now must be an off night you gotta believe this one's over Boom. face first famister he's making a statement here with this attack like this and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him snapmare takedown 
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. You know, as a supervisor, you got to answer your people's calls. So who got eliminated? Havoc got eliminated. Who eliminated Havoc? And we got a Kane, Alex, Josh, and AJ. Oh, I eliminate it. Well, I mean, revenge. I know I'm just messing with you. <laughs> and a Kane trying to eliminate Josh. And Josh fights back with a right to the back of the neck. Clothesline connects. Josh brings the cane up to vertical base. Step up in Seguri. Big old right jab to the midsection by AJ. AJ have a kick to the midsection. Oh, I also eliminated you free. What's up, Mr. 410? How are you doing? This is our final match of the stream. It is for the JJ Broadcast Men's Championship. Alex trying to eliminate a Kane. AJ trying to eliminate Josh. Wouldn't it be something if it came down to Alex and AJ again? They fought tooth and nail during Season 3. And a Kane, too. Tooth and nail in Season 3 for this particular title. So it would be something to have those as the final three. Oh, Alex with the kip up after vertical suplex. And AJ hits him with a clothesline and knocks him down. That's good, mister. Glad you're doing good. And AJ up on the top rope. Drops the elbow, but Alex moves out of the way. A Kane turns Josh around. And a Kane's going to try to eliminate Josh. And Alex eliminates AJ once again. Let's take a look at the replay of that one. Super kick to the chin. And he is eliminated. All right, Master, have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. And this gives Alex valuable time to recover. And Josh fights back. Kick to the face by a cane to Josh. And now Alex and a cane's going at it. Clothesline drops a cane. Ooh, what a nice kick. Eat the feet connects. A cane goes after Josh now because Josh is up. Josh fights back. Grabs a cane. Has control of the neck and the head. Walks him over to uh, the ropes. Super kick. Eliminates a cane. It's down to two BBF members. It is down to Josh and Alex. And Josh goes right after Alex, wasting no time. Josh grabs Alex. Picks him up. Oh, what a power bomb. That has some momentum behind it. And Josh. Oh, connects. Could Josh do it? Could Josh win his first singles title here on JJI? Granted, it's only the men's broadcast, but it would be his first singles title ever on JJI. Josh picks up Alex, puts him up in the fireman's carry. Oh, takes him down. Josh brings Alex up to a vertical base. Josh has Alex. Walks him over to the ropes. Josh trying to eliminate Alex. Can he do it? And Josh gets his first singles title on JJI. It is the JJI Men's Broadcast Championship. Granted, it's just the JJI, but come on now. That is his first title match ever. Or his first... Uh, T singles title win and eager and myself with the winning bets
And the crowd loves it. What a match. Granted, it's the JJ men's broadcast, but you don't understand. Josh has been fighting for a singles title for a long time. Four, no, three seasons. Three years he has been fighting for a singles title. And he finally, finally gets one. Granted, it's the JJ men's. But he still gets it. What a match by Josh. He will defend that tomorrow after Project 10. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fun, fun night. Let's see who we can uh, go uh, raid. Let's see. I got my thing up over here. Let's see who we can go raid. We're going to go raid someone. Anyone got any suggestions? <laughs> Josh Fire needs a champ self of Ruby. Yeah, that is true. Ruby has the hardcore title. Let's see. You know what? Dirty Little Hamster. Let's go raid Dirty Little Hamster. We can do that. We can raid Dirty Little Hamster. Let me pull it up over here so I do it properly. All right, we're going to go raid some dirty little hamster. So thank you all for the positive Thank you for our host. You guys are the true MVP. We will be live again tomorrow with Project 10, season, or episode 5. That is tomorrow. Um, so make sure you tune in. That will be at 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, so, I mean, Josh is your JJ Broadcast Men's Champion. I'm like a proud papa right now. Anyways, come on. Let's make sure we raid. We got 15 viewers. Only six of you have joined the raid. Come on. Dirty only got four people viewing. Come on now. So, be live tomorrow. Next weekend is the BBF Takeover Part 2. Part 2. So, until tomorrow.